bitches, hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of my Riverdale, Rivervale, season 6, episode 3 reaction video. If you haven't checked out part 1 of this reaction, make sure you go and click the link in the description box below to watch it on first. Otherwise, let's just get right back into this episode. Veronica just sold, uh, Nick St. Clair sold to hell, and it was glorious. I would have liked to see him burn, actually, but like, it's fine. He's burning in hell, rotting where he belongs. Justice was served. Thank you, next, like coin only like this is what i want to see this is the content we want to see you know so anyways let's just get right back into it let's go our business is done original soul was never on the table it's your soul that i was promised <gasps> mine excuse me well you might want to ask your partner that question did reggie sell her soul did he sell her soul oh my god you think he should have dis- Well, it's Lucifer. We're surprised he didn't disclose. No, we're not surprised. That's what he does. But if Reggie did that to her, don't do it. Don't do it, Jug. Don't do it. You're an idiot. Oh, uh, oh, fuck. Well, tell me, is my dad there? <laughs> yes. So if I asked you to prove to me that would be. Betty, what's happening? Is that, is that him? Betty, where am I? You have to get me out of here. Chazzy Cheddar's on Route 18. I just wanted to take the damn freaking mask off. Oh, damn. So then you offered mine yeah. instead? Yeah. He asked for it. He said yours would be the real prize. Oh my god, so you sold me down the river stick? Ooh! Those uh, weekly invoices you signed. <gasps> I slipped the contract in your uh, stacks and you signed. Oh, no, sign. Sign, sign, me too, me too. Honey, I'm sorry, forgive me. I I'm sorry, forgive me for giving, selling her soul to the devil. Forgive me, Reginald. That is a low. That is a red flag, sir. That is a red flag. You're lucky it's an alternate uh, town, whatever. You're lucky we're in Rivervale. But, like, really, sir? Not in my house. Because I knew you'd figure a way out. Out of my sight. Exactly, same. I feel bad. Mm hmm. I agree. Sorry, Team Veronica. What a fucking idiot, man. Dumbass. Maybe I want Reggie to die now. Is that Reggie's soul? Again, I don't know. A soul in exchange for you. Okay, good. Who is it? It's been another of those Nick Sinclair times. Alice? <laughs> you get me her signature using my pen. I'll release your soul. I mean, okay. Sorry, Otherwise, but like... you and I have a date at midnight. I mean, if Alice is going to shut it down anyways... What's the harm? Your article's amazing. I never should have dropped you as a client. I apologize. But will you please let me be your agent again? Before you win. He won't be able to write anything else anyways. So there's no point. People. Now because I'm me, I gotta ask. What are you writing next? Nothing! Nothing! You do not need to wash any dishes. Just have a seat. I will bring you a bowl of soup. So you show compassion and kindness. Who is this? Such Hello. virtue should be rewarded, don't you think? I'd say I'm one of the good guys. An angel? <gasps> an angel! He's an angel! Maybe he can save Pops' soul and like bring him to heaven. I can't believe I'm saying this on Riverdale. Like, imagine. Imagine me talking like this on Riverdale. Like, ghosts, demons, Lalaronia, like the devil. Like, like what? <laughs> like, a, like, <laughs> alright. He's an angel. My name is Raphael. Oh! And my boss, he wanted you to have this. Was it holy water or something? Alice. My discretion. I want you to be my point person on this. Oh, you're lying, bitch. <laughs> I have a direct deposit here. I knew you weren't all bad, Veronica. Oh, do you reckon? Do you reckon Veronica will stop her just in time? Like, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't do it. But I wouldn't be mad if it happened. Oh, stop. oh no! Oh. I knew you do it. What's wrong? That you don't deserve to burn in hell. Yeah, that's true, actually. I've 
I changed my mind. Get ready for what's coming next. <laughs> Man, you should just let us sign it. Who cares? It's fine. That is what it is, isn't it? Oh, so he literally can't write. Like, he literally cannot write anything. Okay, he's like, he was being literal. Okay, that makes sense. So he can think of shit, but, like, he can't actually, you know, write. That's annoying. Okay. Pledge your allegiance to me, and I will release your father from endless suffering. What the fuck? Why do you need me? I'm the whore of Babylon from the Book of Revelation. Yeah, literally. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't care about it. Literally. What if I told you Polly's in hell too? That's a lie! It's a lie! Oh! Why are you keep torturing her for? <laughs> Just stabby, man! You know what he deserves. What if it's no? There's gonna be a trick. I don't know. Something's gone. Like I don't know. Take the mask off. Like I need to know. But like, you know what? At this point, it's what he deserves. What can I say? If he's still alive, like supernaturally, the face of evil is mine, right? <laughs> Actually. Is that Glenn? Glenn. Ah! What the fuck did I say? What the fuck did I say? I said it was Glenn. I've been saying this in season five. I'm like this. Whether it's it's actually Glenn or like whatever, it's Glenn. I told you that man was fucking shady, didn't I? I said I was like, it has to be him. Like fucking hell, really. Oh, it's bloody Glenn, little trash ass bitch. Sorry. And when I called him using your voice, saying I needed him. Oh. But he must have really cared about you. Holy shit. Dead. No, I love that. I knew it was Glenn, and like finally it's been confirmed. Like I'm assuming it's even Glenn in the other, in Riverdale. But like. I couldn't trust that man for a second. My swan song, ending right at the stroke of midnight. Oh, is she really gonna die for real? Like she's gonna lose her soul. I, I don't want the fame. I don't want the fortune. Please, take it back. Please take it back. Oh, I, I need to be able to write again. And I could do that for a soul, right? It would cost you. Say he did it on purpose. He made that deal with Jughead, so he would re want to reverse it. Therefore. Give me my, give me your soul, and I'll reverse it. No worries. What is she? I gotta commend Lucifer's a bit of a shifty. I commend him a little bit. Like, good on him for like this, you know, manipulation. But like, all right, idiot, you dumb ass, you're gonna die too, man. Oh, I mean, it's a good effort to go out on, you know. Like, look at her. Like, if you had to die, if this was your last night, what, an, what a way to go out, you know? Like, hey, Queen, go off. And how nice to see you on that Wait, table. she has that holy water thing. She can trap well, him, right? Cross my heart and hope to die. Don't believe him. Terrence, you get us started. I want a milkshake to remember it by. Delightful idea. Now nah, she's gonna whatever the, the angel, whatever Raphael gave to Tabitha, she's gonna put that into the milkshake. Maybe that'll not kill him. Maybe that'll send him back to hell or something. Like holy oil in supernatural, maybe. Make enough of three. Like I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, what the fuck? <laughs> Veronica was so fucking extra, honestly, on her last night on Earth, allegedly. Why not? <laughs> Did you see Fangs? Oh, God. And Kevin's just like, what the fuck? Kevin's like, that bitch stole my spotlight. <laughs> yeah, say, look, something. Tears. 
that the Virgin Mary shed at the crucifixion. Oh shit! Oh my god. And since we have consumed the tears as well, we are now protected by their holy properties. Oh god! Oh yes. About that. <laughs> Oh my god, so he can't enter Pops, right? From this moment on, Pops is consecrated, protected from you and any other force of evil. Now why don't you get the hell out of our town? Okay! Sorry, this is like wild as shit. They full did that. Like, that's actually crazy. <laughs> like, God bless, I guess, literally. God bless. <laughs> like, literally, God bless. <laughs> Tabitha Queen. Tabitha and Pops. King and queen, literally. Pops is the king, Tabitha's the princess, literally. Like, go the fuck off, you know. Sorry, Lucifer, bye. Not in our town. I'm glad he fixed the typewriter, by the way. It's nice. Oh, shit. All right, never mind. Have you heard from Glenn recently? His <laughs> Would she bury him under her house? Wait, is Betty okay? Though I'm stressed. She's on the okay, case. She. It's after midnight. What happened? Yeah, what happened? Well, actually? after I finished my number, we brokered a better deal. That's amazing. What is it? What kind of deal? Let's just say instead of collecting cash, he collects souls. I'll be his expediter. Oh shit! Supplying him with one lost soul from our floor each week for the rest of my natural life. I mean, that seems fair. I mean, look, no. <laughs> So, like, you can't do Alice, like, you know, sell Alice or so, but you can sell these randoms. I mean, okay. I mean, look. It is what it is. You're a cheat. Yeah, she sold Reggie's soul, right? Right. You should get that, Reggie. Ah! She sold his soul! It's for you. <laughs> you fuck with Florida. Yeah. yeah. You fuck with Veronica Lodge, she'll fuck you right back. And not like that, but like, you know. Honestly, Reggie deserved it for selling a soul in the first place. Don't cross Veronica Lodge, man. She'll come for you. You shouldn't have double-crossed me, Reggie. Literally. And you should have been more careful about what pen you use when signing for liquor deliveries. Oh! Go on, Reggie. Be a man about it. <laughs> or he'll drag you out kicking and screaming. <laughs> Like a little bitch. <laughs> I love this for me. He deserved it, sorry. Not to burn hell, but like... Bye! Don't fuck with Veronica Lodge. Note that down, bitch. Because if Rivervale really is going to be the final battleground between good and evil, anybody's soul safe? No. Everyone's fucking dead, man. Man, what the hell? Literally. <laughs> no, but why was that actually a good episode? Like, in Riverdale terms, like, I actually enjoyed it. Because, like, once you, as I told you, once I have learned to not take the show as serious as I should, because, like, I'm like, what the hell, it's an alternate like, timeline. Once you wrap your head around it, you got to have some fun with it, you know? And, like, this wasn't actually... I missed Tony, obviously. I had the Kevin Soldi soul, but we didn't see Kevin die, so we're fine. Like, as long as I don't see him die, we're fine, so it's okay. But, like, holy crap, that's actually insane. Like, I loved that whole story with the deal. Like, I loved it. I don't know, I really enjoyed it. Like, don't cross Veronica Lodge, rule number one. I miss Cheryl, actually. Cheryl wasn't in it this week. But next week she'll be because obviously Sabrina is here. Which reminds me, I need to react to the promo for next week. Because people want me to react to it. I saw some comments. Um, but, like, that was crazy. Like, selling of the souls. Like, that was Tabitha, literal queen. Tabitha and Pop, obsessed. Like, whoever that guardian angel is, Raphael, God bless you. Literally, like... Thank you. She's put, you know, she did the holy water. She's like, this place is second ground now, whatever she said. Like, it's protected against you, bitch. Like, come, try, come for me. You're not gonna, it's not gonna work. Like, goodbye. Like, that's how you get shit done, okay? And Reggie, Reggie Loki deserved it for crossing Veronica in the first place. I'm not telling her about it. And Betty and the t uh, trash bag killer. Obviously, we found that it was Glenn, which I'm assuming it is also Glenn in Riverdale. 
I'm assuming if it's like if things are the same but different, then I'm assuming it's Glenn. Which we knew this from the I had a feeling. I called that we called this. I think a bunch of us had theories as well, but like it had to be Glenn. Like it made sense for it to be Glenn. But you know what? He's dead now, lover for him, but he now he's under Betty's house dead. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, he deserves it again. He deserves it. Uh so yeah, let's just get into the promo because oh man. Two episodes left, you know. Two episodes left until the end of this little event, which has actually been really interesting. Um, I uh, where, where are we? Are you ready? Oh, Queen, Long she's here. One story Hello. Ah! Wait, 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 wait! They're going back in time, like a back in the day. Was that Tony and Cheryl? My Shoney. Sorry, sorry. My Shoney rights, bitch. Story echoing across time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Across time. So what did I just see? What did I just see? Wait, what? Is that it's giving incest. I'm a bit confused. I am confused. Betty and well, not I guess it's not Betty and Cheryl. It's their past lives or whatever. So we're going back in time throughout the years or whatever. Did you see Shoney though? Tony and Cheryl. Did you? See, well, their old their past lives, whatever. They've been endgame throughout the ends of time. I said what I said. I said what I said. Shoney all the time. Shoney endgame all the time. If this doesn't prove their soulmates, I don't know what does, you know? I'm glad Tony's back, by the way. Holy shit. Holy shit. I can't believe Betty and Cheryl, man. It's it's gonna be weird because, like, they're cousins. But, like, I guess not in this. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It's a weird... I've been weirded out, but, like, okay... I guess if it's they're not cousins in their past life, I guess I don't know. Yeah, there wouldn't be right. There wouldn't be, so it's fine. I have feelings, okay. I don't know, uh -huh. but this looks actually insane. Like Tony and Cheryl, Kevin, are like what's he doing? Like okay, Sabrina. Next week's gonna be interesting, okay. Um, so that was my reaction, guys, to this week's episode. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys. For the Flash Live reaction tomorrow, I will another reaction tomorrow, but otherwise, have a great night, day, whatever, and I'll see you guys pretty soon for another one. Love you guys, and ciao for now. Bye, guys!